Remove door panel. The door panel is attached to the door with three screws. The first two screws are under the cover by the arm rest. Carefully pry the cover out. Remove the screws underneath, Torx 30. The third screw is located at the lower end of the panel. It is freely accessible and can therefore be removed, Torx 20. Now the panel is only attached to the door with clips. Starting from the bottom, pull the cover away from the door with a sharp jerk. When all clips have been loosened, pull the panel up and out of the inner trim strip. Now detach the interior door operator. and disconnect the electrics. Remove unit carrier plate. After the panel is off, unscrew the power window motor. Remove the three screws, Torx 25, and pull off the motor. Unplug it. The side window is still attached to the window regulator, but can be pulled up and down. Next remove the small rubber stopper in the middle of the metal plate. Then lower the side window until you see the white plastic expanding rivet. Here's a picture of what that looks like. First press the inner bolt inwards. Sometimes the outer part falls inwards at the same time. If not, then press the outer part inwards. Now the side window is also detached from the window regulator. To be able to remove the side window, pull the window seal away. Remove the two screws from the front cover.
pull off the rubber seal on the front. The cover cannot be removed yet, so you have to remove the outer window molding trim. Carefully pull the molding bar upwards, preferably with a plastic lever. Especially with chrome trim strips, it is important not to bend them. As soon as the molding trim is out, you can remove the cover and pull out the side window. At reinstalling. When installing, the plastic expanding rivet is first reinstalled on the side window. Put the side window back into the door. Make sure that it is properly installed in the side guides again. Then press the side window down and let it snap back into place in the window regulator. Next, pull out the rear seal and remove the screws here as well. Then remove the cover and pull out the rear window guide. To remove the door handle, first remove the cover cap of the counterpart. At the bottom there is a small hook on the seal. Push in and remove the cap. Then through the hole on the side with a long Torx 20 on the grub screw of the bearing bracket. Hold the door handle under tension and unscrew the screw until the handle stays in position by itself. Then remove the counterpart. and slide the door handle backwards out of the bearing bracket. Remove the seal underneath. Further informations on removing and reinstalling door handle are linked in the description. After removing the door handle, remove the bearing bracket screw. Remove the screws from the door latch. All the steps shown are necessary because the unit carrier plate can only be removed together with the lock and bearing bracket. Now finally you can remove all screws of the unit carrier plate. Then take out the unit carrier and free it from the cable harness. Tools, consumables and helpful tutorials as always in the description.